This is number 16 from chapter 2. It is asking us to calculate pH from molar concentrations. So it's saying what's the pH when you have 0.12 moles per liter of NH4Cl and 0.03 moles per liter of NaOH. And we're told that the pKa of NH4 is 9.25. So conceptually what's happening is that this amount of base is going to react with that amount of NH4 and it's going to give us new amounts of NH4 and NH3. So let's draw a reaction of what's happening. NH4 dissociates to NH3 and H+. That's what it says in the back of the textbook in the solutions. But another way that you could write this out to really show what's happening is that you have this NH4. You're adding hydroxide to it. That OH is going to react with NH4 by taking up by taking one of the protons. Actually, NH4 is going to give it to it. it. Depends on the way you look at it. But that's going to produce NH3 and H2O. So to reiterate, OH will react with NH4 and a proton will leave NH4 and NH4 will then turn into NH3. Oftentimes this is the version of the reaction that's written because it's a little bit more simplified. But if you want to really understand what's happening, you can look at this reaction. And I'm bringing this up because a student mentioned that they were confused about why this and this add up to the total molarity. So we'll talk about that. So you can set up a Henderson-Hasselbalch reaction or um, equation. And plug in the pKa value which is 9.25 but what do you plug in for the molar ratios? so as I mentioned before the total molarity is 0. 1, 2 moles per liter. And so you start off with 0 0.12 moles of NH4, but then however much of it then reacts with OH to create NH3 still has to be taken into account because you don't create more ammonium or ammonia for out of the blue. The two of these have to equal the amount you started off with because this just comes from this reacting with OH. That's why both of those species will add up to 0 0.12. So I said 0 0.03 moles per liter of sodium hydroxide were added. 
So that means that much reacted with this to produce some of this. So 0 0.03 moles per liter of NH3 got produced. Because for every amount of this that you add, it reacts with the same amount of this to create an equal amount of this. So after that reaction, you end up with 0 0.03 moles per liter of NH3, well that leaves us with that much less NH4. So the amount you started off with minus the amount that reacted with OH gives us the amount that's left over. So now you do have molar ratio value, uh, values to add into your molar ratio. It's 0 0.09 moles per liter for NH4 and 0 0.03 moles per liter for NH3. So now you can go back to your Henderson-Hasselbalch equation and plug more in. And when you solve that, you get 8.77 as the pH.